These two Aero Garden Golden Harvest tomato plants have uh, produced a lot of tomatoes for me. And as a matter of fact, these two are 170 days old. Now you can take a quick look in the middle and you can see that the breakdown of the leaves and the branches are starting to get more progressive as the plant gets older. However, as it ages, it still does put on a lot of more tomatoes. These green tomatoes should color up soon. I did pick about 36 more tomatoes off of this uh, set of two plants the other day. But, you know, I like the flavor and I did want to perpetuate the uh, same flavor and profile of the plant. Now, I could have taken one of the uh, tomatoes and taken the seeds out of it and started those out, but instead what I did was is I found a healthy uh, branch that's coming off and I came down and clipped it and I will show you what that looks like. Here you go. There are three cuttings in this Air Garden Sprout and uh, they were just put in the other day so they're not looking the best but uh, these large cuttings will start to root. As a matter of fact, uh, right beside it you'll notice that uh, there's a single cutting in this Air Garden Sprout. They're starting to look better than the cuttings that I just put in and in fact in the third air garden sprout, you can see that the cuttings, the natural progression is as they start to root, they will start to branch out. And the uh, plants, because they're not started from seed, may in fact produce a little bit faster. Notice the blossoms that are on the top here. So the advantage of cloning is sometimes a little bit faster production. And that is in particular when you're going from a larger container to a smaller container, such as what the uh, sprouts have to offer. For all the mason jar growers out there, this is another uh, cutting slash clone of the mother plants. And it's in a half gallon mason jar. And you can see that it has one of the uh, blossoms on it already. The plant itself is not looking all that great. It was in a different system that was not optimal for it. And this is uh, not exactly a grow out container, but it is uh, more of a way that I could uh, keep that clone going in a non-circling hydroponic setup. Speaking of the uh, crack key non-circling hydroponic setups, uh, this is actually another clone cutting from those two parent plants. And this cutting was taken on April the 7th. Uh, the age of the mother plants at that time was 92 days. So I had a more mature plant to take that from. And it accelerated in growth. The uh, flowering started on day 32, green tomatoes, day 48. But it slowed down a little bit and if you notice that, one of the reasons might be that as these plants are put into larger containers, such as the 14 gallon drum, uh, the longer that they stay in what is called vegetative mode, the more delayed fruiting will be. And one of the things that causes uh, delayed fruiting in more vegetative mode would be excess nutrients or high nitrogen and larger containers that they're growing into. So this particular plant has started to produce tomatoes and these tomatoes are starting to color up on day 78. Now day 77 was what we needed on the uh, mother plant. So they are very much uh, their mother's daughter, you know, and this is an illustration of how you can get a larger plant. The tomatoes on it are a little bit larger diameter. The plant is bigger, but you have not really gained anything in terms of accelerated harvest. It would take a smaller container that the uh, tomato cuttings can more quickly colonate and produce tomatoes and that would give them a little bit faster harvest. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Do you want a quick harvest of a few tomatoes? Or do you want to replicate the genetics and put these into a larger container where you can enjoy more tomatoes 
over a long period of time in a similar fashion to starting from seed. It's not just tomato plants that can be cloned. As a matter of fact, this is an Aero Garden Bounty 40 watt unit and it's an Isnik uh, Parthenocarpic cucumber plant. So the idea is that I will grow this and I will probably uh, keep the vines uh, somewhat shorter by trimming the ends off so I could try to get as many cucumbers as possible off the plant. Now, when I do that, what I'll do is I'll come in here and take a cutting about in this area and I will root that in the same manner that I root the uh, tomato plants. And what that will do is give me several baby cucumber plants that will be uh, more advanced than starting from seed. And I should be able to um, accelerate the harvest as well as replicate the mother plant if I find that it is one that I would like to grow over and over again.